Diplog 26 has just been published by Double Eleven and Pedro Silva. This is what's going to be coming up for the next month, which is going to be the March April wipe. Devblog 26 says this. Hey there, survivors. Welcome back to another Devblog update. This time around, we've got a slightly shorter one for you. We're currently in that exciting phase between content updates where our team is working hard at work preparing all the new features for testing. So bear with us as we gear up for the next big thing. Meanwhile, we would like to thank everyone for this huge support for Underground Assault, which is military tunnels. I hope you're still having a blast diving into the action with the new weapons and exploring the military tunnels. The dev team worked extremely hard to make sure that the update had as many exciting features as possible, so it's seriously awesome to see how much you're enjoying it. Trust us, your enthusiasm fuels our excitement and we're stoked to keep delivering more epic updates down the line. Speaking of updates, our next one should be ready to be tested in the near future. That's right, if you want to know what's coming next, be sure to keep an eye on the PTB or the public test branch as we plan to start testing the update at the end of April. I don't want to ruin the surprise of what's to come, but let's just say that this update will open the doors for a lot of underwater exploration. Now if we just quickly pick apart some really key things that this segment of the dev blog has covered. So first and foremost, the update that military tunnels had, whether it's overlooked or not, this was the biggest update to come to Ross Council, bigger than community service in my opinion, in terms of a monument and then all the little side updates that we had, the new weapons, the new attachments, a really solid update that I can only commend Double Eleven for pulling off because that was a good update. Also, if we look at the bottom here, it says this update will open the doors for a lot of underwater exploration. I mean, I don't know what else needs to be said. I've been saying for weeks now, it is going to be underwater labs. What's more exciting? is that within this April wipe, they are gonna be dropping it on the PTB or the public test branch. So everyone's gonna be hopping back on there. It feels like we've just gotten off military tunnels and then everybody's just gonna be hopping back on the PTB to play underwater labs. This is going to be a really fun update to experience. So covering the update 1.91, you're probably wondering what's in store for this upcoming wipe. And with it, we have release of the update 1.91 and the start of the Easter event. This update brings a slew of bug fixes, some nice improvements for community servers, as well as new tools to enhance the experience of community server owners. One of the exciting new features introduced is a new admin tool. This tool provides server admins with a new window displaying crucial details such as who placed an item, how long it's been there, facilitating the enforcement of strict rules. Moreover, another notable addition is the customizable community server welcome screen empowering community owners to effectively explain in a short description what their server is about oh my god that's brilliant this is just a highlight of some of the features coming with the 1.91 if you're curious about all the new additions then be sure to visit our website tomorrow march 28th we will release the patch notes one hour before the update at 6 p.m utc alternatively you can keep an eye on our x page or twitter the easter event will go live with the monthly wipe. For those who are not yet familiar with the Easter egg event, the Rust Egg Hunt will have you collecting eggs every 24 to 38 in-game hours. And the top players will get special rewards. You can upgrade the eggs, you can get from the Egg Hunt to bronze, silver or gold, and crack them open for some awesome in-game rewards. Quick heads up, the event will be available on official servers only, not community. This is a bummer. I'm not surprised though because the same thing happened with the gingerbread update or the gingerbread event when it was Christmas. This is the last event where we plan for this to happen but after testing these events are still having an impact on the performance of community servers causing players to crash. Future events are planned to be available for community servers. And so to finish up Easter we have the release of brand new theme skin sets like the Easter gift boxes and the rabbit revenge veteran pack which I also showed I believe in one of my skin videos that Ross Console skin on TikTok gave me. One last note before we end this month's dev blog, in case you missed the announcement, our partners at Gportal now have more server regions available for server renting. Please keep an eye on their website for an up-to-date information. So all things considered, especially for community server owners such as myself, this is absolutely amazing to see that they've got these new additions to show what the server is about and to also have a better way of finding who offline who and seeing major details such as you know when people play stuff and how long it's been there that 
is what we want to see for community server owners because at the end of the day making more content for community server owners to enhance the player's experience their player and community experience on their server is only going to drive more people to play community servers because there's been an influx of people going back on official servers due to you know community servers kind of flopping in a way overall really good step in the right direction and uh yeah i can only talk positive on double eleven and pedro for this dev blog this is a short video i know you guys don't want me to waffle on there's gonna be another video following this which is gonna be talking about more updates so stay tuned for that subscribe if you're new around here leave a like on the video follow my links in the description below and as always we'll see you in the next one